Hello there! It is the 17th day of the Ewan McGregor-a-thon and yesterday I haven't been able to find Nora so I'm gonna do what I did to Blue Juice and just uh, watch today's films first and then kind of keep, uh, keep delaying Nora until I am able to find it. So, today's film Moulin Rouge. This is the third film now that I had seen before and I loved it. Now that I'm thinking back, I can't exactly remember much about the film. I know there's one song which I really really liked, but I just get an overall good feeling thinking back about this film. So I am excited to watch it and uh, yeah. I'll let you know what I thought of it after I have seen the film. Man, such a great film. I really like Moulin Rouge. It's, uh, it's, it, it's amazing. Moulin Rouge is about Christian, who is an aspiring writer, and he's come to Paris to witness the Bohemian Revolution. And there he kind of gets into playwriting and he tries to get his play to play at the Moulin Rouge and he falls in love with the actress who portrays the protagonist in his play but the actress is supposed to be with another man. The story might not sound the most interesting but I promise you the film is amazing. The style, the music the acting, everything is great. In fact, I would argue that the story is the weakest link. This film just looks like a brilliant fever dream. Ewan McGregor is in this film. And he plays the role of Christian, who is our protagonist. I guess Christian is an English writer. They say that in the film, but his accent is kind of all over the place. Sometimes it sounds English, Sometimes it sounds a little bit Scottish. If you ask me, I'd say it is either a bad English accent or a very, very light Scottish accent. Like a Scotsman who's been living in England for quite some time. Anyway, that's not really important. The important thing is that Ewan McGregor is great in this film. I don't know anything about singing, but I think his voice sounds nice. I also love the way he acts. Like a real dreamer, which of course fits perfectly with the Bohemian Revolution style of the film. Yeah, I'd say this is probably so far my favourite film out of the whole marathon. So to conclude, I am giving Moulin Rouge an... I am doubting very much between an 8 and a 9. You know what, I'm going to give it an 8 because everything about this film is great, but there were still some parts that were kind of slow and kind of took me out of the fever dream experience of the film. But apart from that, this film is amazing. Join me tomorrow when I will be watching Black Hawk Down. So do join me for that, and I will see you tomorrow.